As teachers, how do we really know if our students are understanding the concepts we are teaching? How can we tell if our students are really engaged in our lessons? We know that engaged students are active students. But even if our students are fully engaged, how can we make sure that what we are teaching is being fully understood? How can we be sure that every student is learning and that there are no students left in the dark? Student response systems can increase students' engagement, motivation, and track student learning instantly. So what's the problem? Why aren't we using these great tools? The problem is student response systems, or clickers, can be expensive, and they often have to be shared within an entire school. So what is the solution? Today, we're going to learn about how you can use Google Forms as a simple and easy student response system. The great thing about using Google Forms is you don't have to have any special kind of technology. You can use what you have, whether it be a tablet, a cell phone, a laptop, a desktop computer. All these can access Google Forms. The first thing you're going to do is log in to your Google Drive. Now, if you already have a Gmail account, then you already have a Google Drive. Next, we're going to scroll down to the Forms section of our Google Drive. I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms to quickly make a student prompt or student question that can be accessed right during your lesson and give you instant feedback. When you click on Google Forms, it's going to ask you to choose a title and a theme. I am going to enter the title Algebra 1. Then you can go and scroll through the different types of themes and just quickly choose a theme. All you have to do is double click. Next, you're just going to simply type in your question or prompt. This is a great way to check and see if your students are understanding what you're teaching. This is also a great way to allow your students to use those higher level thinking skills. Next, it asks you what type of question you're going to ask. For instance, do you want your students to be able to just enter a simple text answer? Or do you want your students maybe to be able to type out a whole paragraph? Maybe you want to use a multiple choice question. I'm going to choose a simple text answer. Then all you have to do is click Done. Now you have created your question. Simply click on the Send Form button at the bottom of the page. Now you will choose how you would like to share your form. You could send it to your students via email, maybe put the links on a website of your very own, or you could use Google+, Facebook, or even Twitter. You could even text the question to your students. Your students will then just click on the link and simply answer the question. Then all they have to do is click Submit. Now here comes the fun part. All you have to do is click on View Responses and you immediately can see how many students in your class have answered the question correctly. I then know if I need to reteach a concept or if I can move on to a different concept. I can use these questions throughout my lesson to monitor how my students are comprehending. But it gets even better. I can go back any time to my Google Drive and immediately see all the forms I've created with my students and then go back and check their responses. This becomes an easy way to keep track of my students' work. It can also be a great way to compare pre-test and post-test answers. Using Google Forms as a student response system is easy and fun. It not only allows you easy access to how your students are performing right then and there, but it also keeps your students engaged by making them active participants in the lesson. Not only that, but in two minutes you can easily assess the comprehension of every single student in your class. Google Forms. Engage. Assess. Learn.